Hello, in this video, I actually think that YouTube will not recommend Tor because we all know that YouTube has some relationship with some politician. And uh, this video, this video is about the those senator, uh, senator, those congressmen. They are insider trader. In the U.S., there is serious income distribution uh, problem, the which is getting richer, especially after pandemic, and the poor actually lost their job. And so many politicians said that they want to make the uh, world better. Okay, they want to test the rich. Okay, and then help the poor. But the point is, many politicians actually is trying their best and take great advantage of their position and to get rich. For example, if you check the uh, Nancy Pelosi's uh, trade record, she did a lot of so-called legal insider trading, okay, and then she actually gained billions of dollars from their trade. And I find it's very disturbing and disgusting because you always want to test your must, you said you always try your best to test the rich, but actually what you are doing is more disturbing than the uh, those drunk company. Those drunk company when they get their wealth, we cannot deny the fact that they provide great product, they provide great service, and they actually uh, give consumer more choices. But for those politicians, they take advantage of their position and then they use it for insider trading and get filthy rich. And I find that is very uh, frustrating. And I really believe that if such phenomena keep happening, then it will be one of the big bonds to destroy the U.S. financial system because people will no longer have faith in the market. And actually, you can see that in the thumbnail, okay, there is a very a popular tweet this day. It said that the best way to combat wealth inequality in the U.S. is to allow citizens to copy Nancy Pelosi's trades in real time. Yes, if I can copy her trade in real time, I will be filthy rich within maybe six six months or so. And then I can be millions here, okay, in US dollar. So I find that politicians are not always lose that politicians are always disturbing. But this is just very frustrating to me. And I really hope that a um, better policy can be set up to attack against such insider trading of those politicians. And otherwise, it will bring up big problem to the U.S. financial market.